Allah, give an all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. This video is going to be going into the demise of the American dollar and how they're losing allies, how it's losing its power. All right, let's get right into it. But real quick here, I won't bore you, but it says BRICS draws membership requests from 19 nations, 19 nations before the summit. So this upcoming August, the BRICS summit in South Africa, uh, it just is being set up to be some type of major event that will result in a major shakeup. And that's why I titled this, you know, thumbnail, you know, the shakeup is happening right now just because things are just too. It's too obvious to not suspect that something's coming just because they've done a good job of throwing out enough clues and hints and shaking hands and doing currency swaps and doing all types of meetings. And of course we got next month, we have the Arab league summit where they're uniting the entire middle East. Come on now they're working towards something. Yeah. And it's not going to be dependent upon the USD. Okay. Real quick. It says here, 19 countries express an interest in joining the BRICS groups of nations as it prepares for its annual summit. Go down some more. It says, quote, what will be discussed is the expansion of the BRICS and the model, uh, model, lease, model tees of how this will happen. Modalities of what, how, oh, man, I'm getting butchered. It says here, 13 countries have formally asked to join and another six have asked informally. We are getting applications to join every day. Now, you might say, who is this person? Whatever, whatever. I'm not going to pay any attention to this, but it says here, this is a Neil Sokol, South Africa's ambassador to the group. So I would say this person has no reason to lie about these figures. Now, the question I want to put out there to you guys, these six countries that I've asked informally, who might they be? I have some suspicions. I'll share my two cents in a minute, but I would say definitely <laughs> Macron didn't go to China to talk to Xi for no reason. So France might be pivoting on top of that. Once Macron came back from China, he came back with that anti-U.S. talk, talking about we shouldn't be so dependent upon following the West lead, referring to the U.S. So France could be one. Who else could be second? Don't. Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And like I said, France is also a part of the EU, which is the seven horns, and NATO, which is, I'm sorry, the seven heads, and forgive me, and NATO, which is the ten horns, right? So they're starting to hate. America or despise America, I should say, by saying, why are we depending on the dollar? Let's go other places. And it's supposed to be their ally, right? This is the demise of America that's coming soon, sooner than later, we pray. But this is what we hope for. This is what we preach for. This is what we teach for. This is what we stand for. This is a part of our faith and our ministry. Because the place that we built through hardcore bondage, slavery, rape, robbing, murder, blood, sweat, and tears of our forefathers and our, and our matriarchs as well, I'll go as far as to say, at the end of the day, man, the Lord's going to destroy this place. So come out of her, my people, is what the Lord is saying. Seeing it shall be a sort of destruction. All right? Sleep on the fact that the UK, they're in a very tight spot, still dealing with the, the side effects from the Brexit. And just the fact that British pound right now is not in, a, in the best position. And so that might be something that could be considered. And a couple of other ones, but we'll, of course, as we get closer to the event, we're going to hear more news. So I'll spare you guys on that one. But six countries informally request. We will see who they are. OK, so what's the big deal about joining the BRICS? Oh, it's going to be because of that structure that is non dollar that focused. And as they are trying to sell it to themselves, it's more inclusive. You have more of a right. You have more say so. Yeah, 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 yeah. All kinds of like that. But here's another one that is worth uh, paying attention to as well, just because as more countries are looking to join the BRICS, the BRICS are now utilizing their own bank, which is a it's a it's the parallel bank to the IMF. So you got the new development bank and you got the IMF running parallel right now. And a good chunk of the world is switching gears, going from the IMF, 
where they just basically solely enslave you with debt that you cannot pay, i.e. what's happened with Argentina right now, where their banks and the central banks are short of dollars and they're no longer able to do operations as normal. But then again, IMF is about to give them another, I think, 45 billion or something. How many times can you give the same country debt before it's just is every it becomes obvious that the whole goal is to literally steal something physically from that country rather than have them pay back and work as USD notes. But anyway, OK, real quick here. It says BRICS new development banks ditching U.S. dollar by offering loans in local currencies. And so, as always, if you are short of dollars just because of the stranglehold by the central bank hiking rates quantitatively with removing liquidity from the markets you got to use the next best thing which is what use your own damn currency ultimately and there you have it so pretty much if you would listen to what he was saying all the nations in the world were under the imf pretty much right international monetary fund which is run by the jewish international bankers BRICS is pretty much parallel to that meaning that it's the same thing Kind of like how you have a Walmart, but you also have a Target. I hope that kind of makes sense. Or should I say you have a sit-go gas station, and you also will have like a marathon gas station. They give you the same benefits, but the only difference is that BRICS will allow you to use your own currency. It's not going to give you high interest rates. It's not going to be trying to rob you. It's not going to be trying to constantly put you in debt, right? And that's what's happening. So all the other countries are like, to hell with the dollar. Why not we just use our own currency? We create our own financial system and we just exclude the dollar. That's going to leave America to be all out on its own by itself. That's what's going to really lead to World War III ultimately. And all the nations going to be coming against America. This is biblical prophecy here, people. Okay. Anyhow, let me close out with a couple precepts. Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. And that's what we're living by. We have faith and believe that Yahweh Bashim is going to get us out of this hellhole because, believe it or not, if the dollar is going to be doomed internationally, we still have to use it here. But what does that mean? Gas prices go up, food prices go up, medication, it means of life, there will be riots in the, all throughout the United States of America. Believe that. They're shutting out all these Walmarts, all these derailments. I mean, just think about it, people. All of this is by design. All of this is not by coincidence. Okay? Verse 5. They also, because he transgressed by wine, not wine that you dream, their philosophies. He is a proud man. Neither keep it at home. America have over like a hundred something bases, all hundred something military bases all over the world. And I think China only probably has what like two outside of his own country. Now that's in him. Who enlarged his desire as hell? What since the war on terrorism, where over six million people have died in the Middle East and on all all over compared to how many have we lost from our military? And is as death. Yeah. And cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. How did America gather unto them all nations and heap unto them all people? After they dropped the bomb on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, right? Henry Kissinger went to Saudi Arabia and said, if you want to sell your own oil, you have to use our dollar. But in addition, here, give us X amount of gold, and we'll give you X amount of dollars for that gold. It will hold it for you. As soon as they did that, not too long after, they canceled the gold standard. So they pretty much kept all their gold. So the OPEC, that OPEC nation was kind of under the guise of America. And then Saudi Arabia did something unthinkable, right? They, they reconciled with Iran. And they're talking about having this Middle Eastern like um, peace treaty, like this meeting. Forgive me for not knowing the exact name or phrase. He said it earlier in the video. And that's just ruining America. Because what did America do? Destroy Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq. Tried to get Iran, but then Russia, Russia, Putin, um, back Assad. All of these things that have been happening in the making. This is why we're the Watchmen. Started with the elders of Great Millstone, no doubt, because all that led led up to what's happening right now. Okay, but check this out, verse six. Shall now all these take up a parable against him? Forgive me for the background noise. I'm at the plantation. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him, woe means destruction, woe to him that increaseth that which is not 
his. And remember when we were talking about Argentina? They kept giving them all this money, but then they're putting them more and more and more and more in debt, right? Or even going to all the other countries and taking their natural resources, right? How long? And to him that layeth himself with, with thick clay. Do you know what the word clay means? You want to say the Hebrew? It's Ibatya, which means debt. America is $30 trillion in debt. And I think her name was Janet Janet Halen. I forgot her name already. Or Yalen or whatever her name was. She said America's $30 million in debt. And it's going and, and it's on the brink of being fit. I'm sorry, $30 trillion in debt. Whew, big difference. And it's on the brink of being at $50 trillion in debt. And with that accumulating $3 trillion each year. That's why they keep talking about the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling. When the last time you heard them talk about a bubble in the, in the stock market? There is no bubble. The bubble the bubble been burst. Right? So America's doomed. There's nothing that they can do about it. So you Israelites, you Jake out there, man, y'all better wake up. But those who do believe, y'all how about Shema Shah is with you. And I pray how about Shema Shah stay with you. All right, and with me and with all of us, the elect, first and foremost, right? Romans 13, 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. We are the children of the light, right? The children of the day. Let us therefore cast off all works of darkness and let us walk, let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day. Come with, when, the, when the sun is out, you can't hide anything, right? Suffering in the dark. That's why they say the priests come out at night or people do a lot of robberies and, and wicked acts at night, right? Not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. But put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shamashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. In other words, Start the flesh, feed the spirit. So with that being said, please, that if I am fed, stay in the spirit. Don't fear it, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing. Stay humble, remain diligent. Come out, Allah, Buffalo, Shalom.